Hi, I'm Monster1970. Today I'm going to be installing this replacement master cylinder assembly for my front brakes on my 1985 Honda Shadow VT700C. Pick this up off of eBay. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is remove the mirror. Maybe. Whoa. It's pretty tight. I don't remember putting on that tight. If I had this brake apart, master cylinder apart probably three or four times. Loosen this bolt here. The brake line. And I should have something underneath it to catch any liquid. These are five millimeter Allen's. You want to make sure that you get a replacement with the same size piston assembly as what the original has, since this is a dual front brake. Okay, my replacement master cylinder has 8mm bolts in it. If you look on this, this has got an up. I'll also show you. See this connector here? These two connectors. These are for the rear brake, brake light. I'll put them on there. Sure, that's the knee up, arrow pointing up. These are for a 7 8 handlebar. These are the ones that they shipped with it. These brass washers, the crush washers. I don't even know if they're brass. to actually angle the handlebars up more. Tighten this up for now. I'm going to have to raise the handlebars up. Loosen up the handlebars. Crap, that was tight, wasn't it? Gonna angle these up some. Gonna have to bleed out the brakes in. down 12 millimeter mm -hmm. so many ways to go It's pretty close. So the way you can see the lighting isn't the greatest over here. 
but it's working. Although I said it's gonna need blood out. It's too much play in there. A lot better than the other one. And then I gotta make sure the handlebars are well. The handlebars are forward some. It's just the way they're gonna be. I want to make sure that these master cylinders are level. So that'll do it for replacing the front master cylinder on my 1985 Honda Shadow VT700. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.